In 2018, we embarked on the journey of a lifetime, living and traveling full-time in our self-converted van. We're gonna go for it. Join us as we continue to explore the beauty around us, one adventure at a time. Good morning. Check this view out right from our campsite. I'm looking forward to going down there on that beach. So today we are near the town of Trinity and this is Fort Point. And there's another lighthouse in the distance there. This seems to be our lighthouse tour. We seem to be going from one to the next. But this is our free camping location. And there's a pad up here where you could get several rigs just off the road. We chose to go down the hill just a little bit to shelter ourselves from some of the rain and high winds in the forecast. And this one's a little, little bit high up too. So we were worried about the dogs running around and getting crazy near the edge. But we've got some plans while we are here. Carrie has been talking about this hike that's just on the other side of the bay for at least two weeks now. So I'm looking forward to seeing that and just checking out these beaches right near our campsite. And the town of Trinity, which we've heard is so beautiful. And we can see a little bit right from our campsite, but we'll have to drive over there and just get a closer look. Fort Point was established in 1748 by the British to protect assets in Trinity, but was destroyed by the French during a takeover in 1762. Many years later, it became a lighthouse station in 1871 with a year-round lighthouse keeper, clear up until the 1990s. It is still operational as a lighthouse station and open to the public from June to September. With the rainy weather, we pass our time learning to play cribbage, taking naps, editing, and reading. And when nighttime comes, more card games ensue. And who knew that Yahtzee could be so much fun? Well, what's the dice on, anyway? 
<laughs> we have been stuck inside for it seems like days. <laughs> Has it been days? <laughs> it feels like Two. it's been a week. Two days? Two days. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday and today. It was raining, then it was foggy. So we've been playing a lot of card games. And today we said no matter what, we're going to check out this beach right by us. So it's a an outing. And I think our timing might be just right because it's starting to clear up a little bit. We almost blew it off though because the fog came <laughs> in for 10 minutes and we went, that's it, we're not going. <laughs> then we're like, no, we have, we have to, to go. go. And look what happened, the fog blew back off. Ready? Oh, what is it? It's just Oh, that's a cool it's rock. A smooth. Perfect line. Yeah. I did want to mention that we did check out the tide. The tide is going out. We have one hour before low tide. So that gives us two hours to explore the beach before the tide starts coming back in. Oh, it's beautiful down here. Look. Wow. Popeye, the sailor man. Why do you have to eat things everywhere we go? I'd like to see what they taste like. <laughs> what does it taste like? Seaweed? It's like salted seaweed. Salted seaweed. There's some rocks on the end, don't eat those. Can't take him anywhere.
we made it as far as we can on the beach and hit a dead end there's no getting around this without swimming and it's just a like a box canyon i mean it just ends and the rock all these layers that are completely vertical i think it's pretty neat looking Today we are at the Skirwink Trailhead and this is said to be in the top 35 trails in all of North America and Europe from the source that we were reading anyhow. It's a little bit foggy today. We don't have a choice. It looks like it's rain, fog, and drizzle in the forecast every day for the next at least week. So we're just going to go for it and see what we can find. The Skirwink Trail is internationally recognized because of its beauty. Featuring sea stacks, stunning cliffs, and beaches. Not to mention the wildlife. Bald eagles, foxes, whales, and maybe even a moose. Oh, that is neat. The narrow base. Don't, you don't have to get all the way to the edge. The picture won't be any better. Yeah, it will. No, it won't. <laughs> Stay on trail, Carrie. Wow. That is so cool. <gasps> oh, really? They look very happy, yes. This 5.3 kilometer trail is rated as a moderate hike that is thoughtfully designed and well maintained. It is suggested to allow one to two hours to complete the loop, but on a clear day, this trail might just take you three to four hours as you'll want to stop at every vantage point just to appreciate the sheer beauty.
<laughs> that was fun. Back into the, the deep forest again. That is cool. Never seen one twisted like that. Our camp by the lighthouse is straight across, and you might wonder how we know that. I brought my binoculars so I could see it. <laughs> it's because we can hear the lighthouse that we're camped right next to. I can't see nothing but white. And it, it's under a mile away from where we camped to here, across the water, through the fog. Oh, I wish we could see it. And over to the lighthouse. Did you know that foghorns use a vibrating column of air, creating an audible tone in a very low pitch? A low pitch creates a long wavelength. A long wavelength means that sound can pass around barriers much easily, such as rocks. What I like best about this location is just being able to camp right on this rocky, rugged coastline. That was cool, but my favorite part about this location is hiking the Skirwink Trail. Ah, yes. Now, I, I read how great this trail is, and I, I had pretty high expectations going into it. And even though we went on a cloudy day and the views weren't as good as they could be, this trail yeah. is where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. It's one of those ones you don't want to miss. Yes. All right, going straight into what you need to know. First off, the road coming in is about, I want to say six or seven kilometers of gravel and potholes, and it's narrow. Yes. So I would not recommend a big rig coming in through here. I would say anything over 25 feet, you're going to struggle because once you do get in, there's not a lot of places to turn around. And the camping spot itself is pretty narrow and we, even we had to do like a three point turnaround uh, just to set up. And at, when you get to the lighthouse, the camping there is very limited as well. Now there is a spot to camp before you get to where we were that big rigs could fit. However, like Dave said, the road is very narrow. If you meet a car, it's gonna be very challenging to pass. And maybe if you have a guide car helping you, yeah, yeah. that might be an option. They are doing construction up there. When we were there, they're building a house. So we did encounter a lot of several large dump trucks. Yeah, which, which was uh... brought us to almost a standstill <laughs> just to get past them. Yes. All right, so amenities. There's no amenities out here. So it's pack it in, pack it out. Uh, we did have some Verizon service, so that was a treat. Uh, the nearest town is uh, the town of Trinity, which only has 76 people in it. So this is a remote area. It's nice and quiet. There's not a lot of commotion going on. Just the kind of area. It's a beautiful, quaint little town. Now, from where we camped, it's like a half mile across the bay. Yeah. But to get to the town, you have to drive all the way around 
what'd you say? Seven, seven or eight kilometers? I think it's nine kilometers. Nine kilometers to the town. Yeah. And the services are very limited there. Yep, they do have one restaurant and they do boat tours out of there. Oh, okay, we have to talk about the boat tours. I think it's Trinity Eco Tours. Yep. Um, we watch them go out twice a day, rain or shine, fog or, fog or no fog. I have to hand it to them, they went out every yeah, day. I, I think we actually missed out on this one because the coastline is just amazing here and you're just not gonna see it unless you get a boat and get out there. Mm -hmm. And they have a really spectacular coastline to show off. That There was an iceberg going by, there's uh, islands with puffins on it, there's they whales. They were seeing whales, early in the season they were seeing whales. Yeah. Not to mention the stellar sea eagle, which has been spending its summer in Newfoundland. I believe it's from Russia. It's spending, it has a nest or something in that area. They have been spotting it almost every tour oh. out of Trinity. And it's a pretty rare sight. Yeah, we, we missed it. We probably should have went for that. <laughs> All right, so there's no grocery store in Trinity. The town itself is so small. So if you... There yeah. are showers at that restaurant in Trinity. The though. restaurant? Yeah, there's a restaurant in a town with 76 people. And Carrie says there's showers available there. So that's pretty cool. That's cool, yeah. So if you need groceries or gas, you might have to go to Port Rexton. And that's about 13 or 14 miles away. And it's still a small town. So no major supplies available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's a super cute little town. Uh, if you go for a day trip, there's not a whole lot to do. It's a great remote location to stay a night or two. And if you can't do anything else, do the Skirwink Trail. It is so worth it. Um, if you can't do that, do um, Chance Cove Trail, oh, Chance which Cove. is which yeah. is kind of in the area. It's very similar shorter and you can actually get down to the beach and both of those trails i think are my favorite in all of newfoundland yeah and it's a beautiful place to set up as like a home base and then go do those trails and visit the small towns in the area yeah. okay i think we covered it i think that's pretty much it i just like to say thank you for watching our videos and if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing that it really helps us out and yeah it's, and it's free it's free it doesn't cost you anything the more subscribers and the more likes we get on the video it really helps a small channel out we would appreciate it yeah thank you yeah. so thanks for coming along and we will see you next week If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron. Thank you for watching.